Hey, hey, thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. Totally stoked that you're here. And I want to invite you, please subscribe. We have over 1,700 subscribers. How cool is that? Oh my goodness, I want you to join as well uh, because seriously, it's really, really great content, relevant, helpful, and the jokes, you know, are unbeatable. <laughs> I know, I know. You're like, nah, nah, okay. But we're continuing our series called What Do You Need? And we're looking at the needs in our life and looking as well at John chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. And it's interesting because we all have needs. We talked about financial needs, employment needs, wisdom needs. We need strength on the inside, self-control. We might need health issues. You know, some of us say, we just say, we need money. Mm. Some of us need help in our marriage, to help with our kids, our parents, just needs. And we've been talking about how the needs are launching, launching pads, springboards for some great conversations with Jesus, but also Jesus uh, participating in our life more and more and more. So we've been looking at this wedding feast of Cana of Galilee, John chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. And in this need... It's interesting because I want to talk a little bit today about who, who is at this party, who is at this wedding feast. Because when we have needs, <clears throat> I think it's important for us to think about who, who am I? Who am I? Who am I in this story? Um, who am I in this need in my life? And not only who am I, and then as well, who is Jesus? Because in this story, it's interesting. You read John, the verses that I said, verses 1 to 12, John chapter 2. There's a lot of people in this story. It's a wedding feast. So you've got a bride, you've got a groom, you've got the family, you've got the guests. You also have servants. And then it says, you know, as well, Jesus' mom was there, Jesus was there, Jesus' disciples were there. So you have these players, all these different people that are in this situation. And I think it's important for us to think about who, who am I? Who am I in this need? Sometimes I see, this is interesting. I, you know, I, I've done church my whole life and people will come and make these observations. Hey, you guys ought to do, you know, this thing, or you ought to have this outreach, or you ought to have this, and, and they see needs. And my question back is always relates to, you know, am I the servant? Am I the disciple? Am I Jesus' mother? Am I the, am I the spectator? You know, the kind of the backstory? Am I the, who am I? Um, and I think if we ask ourselves that question, instead of pointing out all the needs. And, and I think a lot of times we point out needs and we'll let people know needs. You know, we might let our husband or our wife know, I need this. We might let our kids or our parents know, you ought to, I need da 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 da. Maybe a, a, our job or, or we have feedback from a teacher that says, hey, you need to do, and, and you think, I need to study better. I need better, better discipline, better study habits. But I think in, in all of these needs, it's important for us to ask, who am I? Who am I in the need? Am I the spectator? Am I the servant? Am I Jesus' mother, Mary, having the conversation, bringing the need to Jesus? Am I the disciple? Remember, in, the, in, these, in this story, Jesus had his disciples with him. I don't know if it's the four or the 12. You know, I don't know exactly how many disciples. But appreciate that in this story, the disciples were new. They were new followers of Jesus. So they didn't really know who Jesus really was, what he could do. They hadn't been around him a lot, hadn't heard his teaching, hadn't seen him. They hadn't really, at this point that I can tell, seen him do any miracles. So they don't necessarily know who is Jesus fully, fully. But on the other side, you have Mary. And Mary, Mary knows Jesus, right? Mary is his mother. So if anybody's going to know Jesus, it's his mom. And everybody else at the wedding feast, I don't think they knew him like Mary knew him. And I bring this to you because I think in the needs that you have in your life, you can just treat Jesus as a guest, you know, a fellow participant, kind of as an observer. Or you can treat Jesus as a, a, a person that can change things. 
and grow in your relationship with Jesus and deepen your connection with Jesus. I don't know. I think these servants, once they started interacting with Jesus and saw what Jesus did, I think the disciples as well, um, as well as Mary, they began to see Jesus for who he really was and what he could do. And I really think that part of our, our journey with Jesus is to know him better, to know who he is, know what he can do, invite his participation, invite his involvement in these needs. Because when we do, we come to know Jesus in ways that we had never known him before as our, our healer, our provider, our wisdom, our strength, our, our backbone, <laughs> our support, our, our day to day, minute by minute, every time walking with us, our co continual companion. That we, when we bring our needs to Jesus, who I am uh, and who he is, as we participate together, we get to grow in our connection and our intimacy, closeness more and more and more. So I just encourage you, whatever the needs are in your life, then you think about, well, who am I? Or I see needs around me. Well, who am I? Maybe we could be Mary and bring the needs to Jesus. Maybe we could say, Jesus, would you step into this situation, step into this need? We invite you to participate. We invite you to bring wisdom, resources, finances, healing. We invite you, Jesus, to join this whole experience. And when we do, whether you're the servant obeying, whether you're Mary who knows him really well, maybe you're the disciple who's like, oh my God, he did what? You know? <laughs> that when Jesus steps in, we invite Jesus to be all of who he is as well as what he does into those needs. And then we get to know Jesus better and better and better. So no matter who you are, no matter what the need is, let's invite Jesus. Let's say, hey, I need you. I need you to step in and help here. Step in and do and, and let Jesus fix and, and solve and, and resolve the needs the way Jesus chooses instead of telling him the method. That would be important as well. So thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Hit the little notification button right there, that little bell, because then you'll get updates on new content. Love to get your feedback. That would be fantastic. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Love reading the comments that you leave behind. And it's fantastic, really encouraging and also insightful. So thank you. And finally, for our joke, da, 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 da. what kind of joke are we going to have today? This is a really great one. What is the leading cause of dry skin? Hmm. Uh, towels. <laughs> I know you're like, that is so stupid. I know, but next week will be way better. Thanks again. <laughs>